Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Amir Patra, Principal Product Manager focusing on licensing and capacity management experience for Power Platform and Copilot Studio. In this walkthrough, I will show you how to track, manage, and control your Microsoft 365 Copilot message capacity usage through the Power Platform Admin Center or Power Platform or PPAC. We'll cover how prepaid and paygo model work, how to monitor your consumption, and most importantly, how to gain downward cost control, including agent level limits. Here is what we'll cover in the next few minutes. We'll start with a quick overview of licensing models supported for your Microsoft 365 Copilot Studio. Then walk you through how to track capacity uses in Power Platform Admin Center. Next, we'll look at managing prepaid license packs. We'll look at how to handle overage using pay as you go and go over the enforcement guardrails which are in place. We'll wrap up with a look at the latest feature agent level controls for more granular governance. Let's go over the different licensing options available for Copilot Studio. Copilot Studio uses messages as a common unit of usage across its capabilities with flexible choices available through pay as you go meter or message pack subscription. Copilot Studio offers three licensing options to give you flexibility based on your usage. First, for more predictable usage, there is the message pack option. It's a $200 per tenant per month for 25,000 messages. You can buy it directly in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center as an add-on. The message pack is applied at the tenant level and you can buy multiple packs as needed. The second option, there is a pay-as-you-go plan. Great for unpredictable or low volume usage. You pay one cent per message and it is billed through Azure by linking your environment to a subscription. No upfront purchase is needed for this. Lastly, Copilot Studio is also included in the Microsoft 365 Copilot license, which is a $30 per user per month. This gives each license user full access to build and manage Copilots. It is available via your Microsoft licensing provider or in Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Agents built in Copilot Studio for Microsoft Teams, SharePoint, and Microsoft 365 Copilot are included at no extra cost. Each plans offer flexibility depending on how you want to scale and control your Copilot Studio usage. So after you have purchased a capacity pack or enabled pay as you go, and your users have started using agents, the next question is how do you track your Copilot Studio capacity usage? As more departments begin using Copilot Studio, usage quickly adds up, especially when multiple bots or and environments are running simultaneously. Organizations often reach a point where a question start coming in. Are you within our prepaid limit? Who is consuming the most capacity? Are we trending towards the overage? This is where Power Platform Admin Center becomes essential. Now let's go over how to track your Copilot Studio capacity consumption in the Admin Center. I'm here inside PPAC, inside Licensing Hub. Now there is a dedicated capacity usage section with reach inside just for Copilot Studio. Here, admin can see how many billing plans are configured, track total prepaid capacity purchase versus use, monitor month to date usage and compare with previous months, identify top consuming environment, drill into environment to see agent level usage. This gives the full transparency whether you are using prepaid, paygo or both. Now let's talk about managing capacity. Let's start with managing prepaid capacity pack. If your organization has purchased pre prepaid Copilot Studio message packs, you gain full control of how that capacity is distributed and how it is used. In PPAC, you can allocate message capacity to a specific environment, which often align with department or business unit. For example, marketing, HR, or customer support departments. The model supports departmental billing, 
or budget ownership because once a capacity is assigned to an environment, it is fully isolated. Other environments cannot draw it from it. So if your marketing has 50,000 messages allocated, HR or IT department cannot cannibalize the budget, even if they run short. This is especially useful in organization with chargeback models or cost accountability, where each department team is responsible for their own usage. Let's go over how to manage prepaid capacity in admin center. Admin can view how much capacity has been assigned to each of the environment, how much has already been consumed, and whether they are on track or at risk of overage. You can then use this insight to rebalance capacity if one team is not using it at all for its allocation. Or you can choose to shift extra capacity temporarily to another group that needs it. Or decide to draw down capacity from tenants available capacity. And all this can be done within Power Platform Admin Center and within Licensing Hub. So whether you are managing five environments or 50, this setup gives you predictable, isolated capacity management with visibility, flexibility, baked in it. Usage can spike during certain season or business cycles. As an admin, it is important to plan ahead. If your prepaid capacity run out and there is no pay as you go plan setup, as a backup, agents will stop responding. That is why it is, essential, it is essential to monitor usage proactively and set up fallback billing plans in advance. You don't want to find out enforcement kicked in only after users start reporting failures. Planning ahead helps ensure uninterrupted service and a better user experience. Here is this example. This is my demo environment, which is in overage. As a maker, when I try to publish one of my agent onto this environment, the system does not allow me to do so. So how do you address this overage? If an environment uses up all its prepaid allocation, there are two options you can think about. Choose option of drawing down tenant available capacity. That's one of the options. The other is burst into pay as you go using a billing policy linked to Azure. Now let's talk about how pay as you go setup works. In order to set up pay as you go, you would need access to Azure subscription. You have to create a billing plan, which acts as a link between an environment to an Azure subscription. You can set that up in the Power Platform Admin Center. You can track your Copilot Studio message usage across all your environment and drill down on consumption by product, Copilot Studio agent, and feature in Power Platform Admin Center. The other step, you can view your billing charges set spending alerts in Azure portal using Azure cost management. Now let's go over the steps. First, you need to create an Azure subscription that we can link for billing. If you already have done one in your tenant, great. Just make sure you have owner or contributor permission. If not, you can create a new Azure subscription by heading into Azure portal. You also need permission to create resources and register your resource provider. If you are missing this, check with your Azure administrator. For this demo, I already have set up my Azure subscription. Let's quickly verify it. Now let's create the billing plan and link it. How do you get into the billing plan? You have two options to get into the billing plan. Click new billing plan and give your billing plan a meaningful name. Now, Pick up your Azure subscription from the drop-down list. If you don't see it listed, double check that you have the right permission or work with your subscription owner. Now select the resource group. This is where the Power Platform account resource will be created in Azure. If no groups are listed, head over to the Azure portal and create one first. Select the Power Platform product you want to meter, like Copilot Studio in this example. In this case, only Copilot Studio Meter will be enabled against your subscription. Choose a region. This will filter which environments are available to link. You can select one or more products, one or more production or sandbox environment. Remember, trial, developer, database for teams, and default environment cannot be added 
Then pick the environment you want to connect. If an environment is already linked to another billing policy, you'll be prompted to confirm if you want to switch it over to the new billing plan. Once your selection are ready, click next and your, uh, then create the billing policy. And that is it. Your environments are now linked and pay as you go billings is active. Once the billing plan is set up, you can see the Power Platform account resource created in the resource group specified. You can also view billing in Azure Cost Management. As you can see here, the Power Platform account resource has been successfully created under the designated resource group in my Azure subscription. Now I am here in Azure Cost Management, specifically under Cost Analysis section. I have already set up a custom view for myself. This view allows me to filter by specific Azure meters and focus on the resource group that I care about. This makes it easy to track billing details of my selected resource group and perform deeper cost analysis as needed. Until now, capacity allocation and PIGO billing have been managed at the environment level. But what happens when you have multiple agents operating within the same environment? A common and growing request from customers has been the ability to track and manage usage at individual agent level, not just at the environment level. In response to this feedback, we are rolling out a new update in the Power Platform Admin Center. Admins will soon now be able to define monthly subscription limit for agents, regardless of whether the environment is using prepaid capacity or pay as you go capacity. Now let's look at something new in a Power Platform Admin Center called Agent Level Message Limits. We are introducing a new page in Admin Center within Licensing Hub to manage agents. The page is linked from Tenant View page within Licensing Hub. Inside Licensing Hub, you can now view all Copilot Studio agents across your tenant. See the configured message limit, if any, for that specific agent. Check month to date usage. You can also have the option to search for the agent and view which environment this agent belongs to. Get status of agent, whether the agent is near the limit, over limit or within limit. From here, admin would able to set a limit for the agent. Let's say you notice a particular agent is consuming far more capacity than expected. Here is where you can set up a monthly cap for the specific agent. If your agent is in a prepaid environment, it must say stay within the pool. If the agent is in an environment which is set up for PG, you can set any limit. It will be built accordingly. Admin will also have an option to mark an agent off from this console. Once the limit are in place, you can configure two guardrails. You can either opt in for notification. This acts as a soft guardrail. Admin, both at the environment or at the tenant level, will receive the alert when an agent's usage approaches the defined limit. You can also opt in for the hard enforcement. This is a hard stop. The agent will be automatically disabled once it hits the 100% of the allocated limit. These guardrails are optional. You can opt in whether one or both, depending on your governance needs. So with this update, it will help you to stay on budget. It will prevent surprise overages and maintain clear accountability across your organization. To summarize, Admins now have the powerful tool to manage Copilot Studio message consumption in Power Platform Admin Center. You can track prepaid versus pay as you go capacity uses, monitor usage in real time, even set agent specific limit. The new licensing of experience makes, you, makes it easy to spot risk, adjust proactively, and enforce smart gutters. Thank you for watching. You can explore all these features today in Power Platform Admin Center.